Hello, this is Tiffany and I am doing a review of the E-Zip. As you can tell, we're taking a trip around the bike. Um, you see the front and here's the side with the battery showing. And we're going to go around the back. And the switch for the bike is actually in the back. When I first got it, I didn't know how to turn it on. So, so that you will know, the switch is right behind the rear reflector and it's the black little snippet right back there that you can barely see we're going to pull away from the bike a little bit and go on around if you look to the left towards the rear wheel that's the motor and you see another terminal just above the motor for a second battery should you decide to purchase one and here's the front of the bike. The battery is really easy to install. It just slides in and out of the terminal. As you can see, here's the battery in the terminal. You just slide it right out. And you can slide it right back in until it snaps. And it's that simple. The throttle located on the right hand side is just a knob that you turn. Beside it are a series of lights that indicate how much charge is left in your battery. The red button is the tag pass button that gets your bike to move without being pedal. And here we're going to approach the bike and get on it and take it for a spin. As you can see I've installed a mirror to help me watch for traffic. And here we go. Yes, the bike does have a slight whine to it, but really it's not that noticeable. On my bike, I go to and from work. It's about a seven mile two-way trip, and it takes me about 20 minutes to travel each way. All in all, I must say that I am very pleased with my EZIP. With the gas prices being what they are, the EZIP is a very economical alternative. I've read online where some people have had issues with their EZIP, but I have had no problems with the battery. I take my battery charger with me, and while I'm at work, I let my battery charge. Um, yes, when I got my bike, the packaging was in rough shape but all the parts were there, the bike was not being dented, and all in all, I am very happy.